and uh, it's been a while since we've done training. So um, because we had the snow and I'm having a little bit of uh, um, what's it called? Uh, relapse where I need, I need training. So um, anyways, we're going to do a little MLS uh, training. So uh, we log into MLS. It's matrix.netris.net. <clears throat> matrix.netris.net. You're always going to have your uh, login, which is your license number with a zero in front. And once you log in, you are going to have 14 boxes, seven on top of seven. And um, you're always going to hit the one in the left corner, Matrix Netris. When you click on it, your screen should look like this or something close to it, which is going to be on the left. We have the recent uh, portal visitors. We can always move that around. In the middle, we have a search where we can pull up any property that's in the MLS since 2003. And then over here are active listings. So if I want to look up 8,005 Fall Meadow, easiest way to do it is come right here, 8005, and just put the first letter of the street name and hit enter. And it's going to go all the way back to 2005 or 2003 and pull up every property with 8,005 and an F. You can see that you can see that Fall Meadow is right there, six and five and six. If I click on the MLS number, that's always going to be this column. And when you click on it, that's called the agent full report. Right above the picture of the home, you have listing. There's the tax roll. Whenever you make an offer, you need to print the tax roll and the agent full report. That is the agent full report. So print it. And then this is the tax roll right next to it. It says tax. Click it and you'll print that. If you were going to do a market analysis on this property, you would look in the tax roll and right here it says subdivision and it says Crystal Creek. So now I would go up to search, go residential quick. Again, search residential quick and I'm going to pull up a CMA and I can do it a number of ways. I'm going to skip coming soon and mark active, kick out, contingent, option, pending, sold and change it to 180. Now I can do it a couple ways. I can right here type in Crystal Creek and I can put an asterisk and not have to type all of it in and it'll give me everything with Crystal Creek in it as a subdivision name. So I don't necessarily have to type it out if I put the asterisk there. Over here I type in Plano and you can see down at the bottom there's one home. So if I didn't think that was a good enough selection, I could delete the subdivision. I could go up here and I could pick either from this already or just type in about four miles from and slowly type in 8005 Fall Meadow. And as I do the C, it'll pick circle. I select it and you can see there's 620 homes that are four miles from my home in Plano with a master down. I'd probably want to get the year built close. So this home was built in 2004. So I might go 2002-2007, and I'm down to 38 homes. Uh, I also have a pool, so I might go down here. And uh, what you'll see is that in this search criteria, there is no pool. But if I scroll down below the results tab, there's a little button here that you either say add or add remove. Click on it. And then right here on the left is all your search criteria available in the MLS. So you could just type in poo and it'll pull up everything with the POO in it. You'd pick pull, yes, no, hit add, and it would move it over here to the right side. Then you hit the back button and now pool should be underneath the results tab. And as you scroll down, you'll see it somewhere. So you can see I've added a bunch of search criteria. Look at the very bottom there, pool. I'm going to put yes because my home has a pool. I'm going to go back up to the top. And you can now see there's 14 homes that are four miles within my house. I might make it two miles. And there's zero homes. So now I might make it three miles. And there's still zero homes. So I will make it four miles. At four miles, there's 14 homes. All I'm going to do is hit the results button. When I hit results, I'm going to get a single line of each property. I'm trying to get to click on this. In order to do that, I have to check above the one. I hit quick CMA and booyah, I have a CMA. And this will be good enough to print. 
and it'll give you a ballpark of what properties are selling for in the general area. Okay. So that's going to be a great way to do a CMA. You go back to the dashboard. This is always going to be where you're at when you log in. Again, if you are looking for a property at 0000 County Road, instead of typing in County Road, just put a C. So that means you really only need the street number and the first letter of the street name to find any property in the MLS. And then you're going to get everything with 000s and County Roads or with a C and you have to you go down and, and you find them. All right. So again, the search tab, super important. Every time you log in, you'll be at the dashboard. And then in order to do a search for anything that's a house is residential, multifamily, that's going to be for duplexes, apartments, lots and acreage will be for lots, commercial, and then for leases. If I wanted to do a search for uh, somebody as a tenant, I would go search residential lease quick. I'm then going to go over here and they want to look 0 2000 and they want to look in Carrollton, C A R R O L L. As soon as I type in Carroll, you can see it's already highlighted and I'm looking for houses only and they're zero. So that means I need to go in higher price range, maybe 3000 and tell the client, no, there's seven. When I want to email this to a client, I'm going to hit three tabs results, save, new auto email. Results, save, new auto email. I'm going to create a client, Joe Jackson. I put their email in, putting fictitious emails. Then you see they're there. And then here you just put lease properties. And then you scroll to the bottom and hit save and you just emailed it to your client. When they favorite one of these homes, your phone will go off and the next time you log in, their name will be right there. So that's kind of a cool thing that happens when you do a home search correctly. One more search and then we'll call the training. You now have somebody that wants to look zero to half a million dollars in the four cities up in the North uh, suburbs. So you hover over search residential quick. They've been pre-approved for half a million, zero dash 500. Then you go to city, Plano, Frisco, McKinney, Allen. Right now there's 41 homes, but they only want a single story, one dash one under stories. Now there's 35. They want a home built after 1997 a plus sign. Now there's 13 still. Square footage, they want something bigger than 2,500. 2,500 and a plus sign, there's zero. So you either have to take out the square footage to get back to the matches. And at some point you're gonna get enough matches to send them and you're gonna hit three tabs, results, save, new auto email. But now you might have them already in your drop down. You don't have to create them. So you would simply find them, you select them, put homes, scroll down, hit the save button and you just email it to them. And then just like I've talked about in training, you're gonna be communicative. You're going to reach out to the buyer or the tenant, see if they got the properties, if they wanna look, send them your electronic business card through Haystack and You're going to send them and let them get to know you. And when they know you, they're going to like you. And when they like you, they're going to trust you. All right. Y'all be safe and go get some.